today's video, we are going to talk about the first type of factoring which is common monomial factor. And to understand this one, let us have some example. On the first example, we have 24 plus 18x. So the first thing that we're going to do is to find the greatest common monomial factor of the given expression. So the GCF of 24 and 18, that is 6. And then... Let us divide. Let us have 24 divided by 6. That is 4. So we are going to have 4. And then let us have 18x divided by 6. That is 3. And let us have x. So this will be 3x. So we are going to have 6 times the quantity of 4 plus 3x. 6 is what we call the greatest common monomial factor. 4 plus 3x is what we call the quotient of the polynomial. And 6 times the quantity of 4 plus 3x is what we call the factored form. And this will be our answer. On example number 2, we have 30a plus 80b. So the GCF of 30 and 80, that is 10. And let us have 30a divided by 10. 30 divided by 10, that is 3. And let us have A. So this will be 3A. And then we have 80B divided by 10. That is 80 divided by 10, that is 8. And let us write B. So this will be 8B. So 10 is the greatest common monomial factor. 3a plus 8b, that is the quotient of the polynomial or the given expression, and 10 times the quantity 3a plus 8b, that is the factored form. And this will be our answer. Example number 3, we have 7xy plus 28x square y. So the first thing that we're going to do is to find the greatest common monomial factor of the given expression. So to do that, let us find the GCF of 7 and 28, and that is 7. And then, let's find the GCF of x and x squared, that is x. In finding the greatest common factor of the given variable, simply choose the smaller exponent between the two, and that is x. And then, the GCF of variable y, that is y. And then, let's divide. Let us have 7xy divide by 7xy, that is 1. So we are going to have 1, and then let us have 28x square y, divide by 7xy, let us cancel the variable y, and let us have 28 divided by 7, that is 4, and then x square divided by x, that is simply x. We simply subtract the exponent. So let us have 4x. So we are going to have 7xy times the quantity of 1 plus 4x, and this will be our answer. On number 4, we have 36x cubed y raised to 6 minus 63x raised to 5 y raised to 7. So the GCF of 36 and 63, that is 9. And then we have x cubed and x raised to 5. We simply choose the smaller exponent, and that is 3. We are going to have x cubed as our GCF in x variable. And then, in y variable, that is y raised to 6. That is the smallest. And then, let us divide. Let us have 36 x cubed y raised to 6 divide by 9 x cubed y raised to 6. So, we can cancel x cubed and y raised to 6. And let us divide 36 divided by 9, that is 4. So we are going to have 4. And then let us have negative 63, x raised to 5, y raised to 7, divide by 9x cubed, y raised to 6. And then negative 63 divided by 9, that is negative 7. And x raised to 5 divided by x cubed, we simply subtract the exponent, that is x square and then y raised to 7 divide by y raised to 6 let us subtract that is simply y 
So we are going to have negative 7x square y. And this will be our answer. On example number 5, we have 6x squared plus 9x cubed minus 18x raised to 5. Just like in our previous example, let us find the greatest common monomial factor on the given expression. So let us find the GCF of 6, 9, and 18. The GCF of 6, 9, and 18, that is 3. And then... We have variable x, we have x squared, x cubed, and x raised to 5. To find the GCF, we simply choose the smaller exponent in the given variable, and that is x squared. And then, let us divide. Let us have 6x squared divided by 3x squared. Let us cancel this one. And let us have 6 divided by 3, that is 2. So we are going to have 2. And then let's have 9x cubed. Divide by 3, x square. 9 divided by 3, that is 3. x cubed divided by x square. Let us subtract the exponent, that is simply x. So this will be 3x. And then let us have negative 18x raised to 5 divided by 3x square. Negative 18 divided by 3, that is negative 6. x raised to 5. Divide by x squared, that is x cubed. So that's 5 minus 2, that is 3. So this will be negative 6x cubed. And this will be our answer. On example number 6, we have 15p cubed minus 12p plus 21. So let us find the greatest common factor of 15, 12, and 21. So this will be 3. Since there is no variable p in our last term, 3 is our greatest common monomial factor. All we have to do is to divide 15 p cubed divided by 3. So 15 divided by 3, that is 5. And let us write p cubed. This will be 5 p cubed. And then let us have negative 12 p Divide by 3, that is negative 4p. And then, let us have 21 divided by 3, that is 7. So we are going to have 3 times the quantity of 5p cubed minus 4p plus 7. And this will be our answer. On our last example, we have 52x raised to 4y cubed plus 39x raised to 5y squared plus 65 x squared y raised to 7. So just like in our previous example, let us find first the greatest common monomial factor of the given expression. And to do that, let us find the GCF of 52, 39, and 65. Since 52, 39, and 65 is divisible by 13, so therefore, the greatest common factor is 13. And then, let us find the GCF of x raised to 4, x raised to 5, and x squared. Since x squared is the lowest exponent, we are going to have x squared as our greatest common factor. And then, in variable y, we have y squared as the lowest exponent. This will be y squared. And then let us divide. Let us have 52 x raised to 4 y cubed divide by 13 x squared y squared so 52 divided by 13 that is 4 and x raised to 4 divided by x squared that is x squared so we simply subtract 4 minus 2 that is 2 and then y cubed divided by y squared that is y so we are going to have 4 x squared y and then let us have 39x raised to 5 y square divided by 13x square y square. So we can cancel y square and let us have 39 divided by 13, that is 3. And then x raised to 5 divided by x square, that is x cubed. So this will be 3x cubed. And then let us have 65 
x square y raised to 7 divided by 13 x square y square. So we can cancel x square and let us divide 65 divided by 13, that is 5. And y raised to 7 divided by y square, let us subtract the exponent, let's rewrite y, that is 5. So this will be 5y raised to 5. And this will be our answer. So I hope you've learned from this video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.